Hello to everyone, uh, I am Oscar Monsalve, I'm forming for my graduation as a sensei. Uh, I've been uh, following our new series, Experiences, which started the last day with my master, uh, Shidoshi Luis Nogueira. And uh, I would like to, um, to participate in this series um, with my own experience with my master, which is making me the honor to, to, uh, to uh, share with me all his knowledge, uh, today especially referring to Suriken Jutsu. Uh, Sumimasen, Shidoshi Luis Nogueira, could you please um, tell me a little more about uh, this interesting art, Suriken Jutsu? Of course, and thank you for giving me the, the opportunity to share with you some information regarding about all tradition uh, linked to the Suriken Jutsu. First of all, we have here the Makimono, that covers all the ideas or the, or the tradition of Shuriken Jutsu in the Kasenoryu uh, Ogawaha. Here we could take a look and we have, this is the title of the Makimono, and we have Chuden Shuriken Jutsu no Sho. That means it's uh, for the Chuden graduation, is to say Shuriken Jutsu corresponds to the, to the Chuden, to the middle traditions, to the inner traditions, of our, of our school and uh, Shuriken Jutsu no Sho. Why? Because Shu it's from, uh, from, from Te, that's the hand, Ri, that comes from Ura, that means the back, and uh, Ken, it's from Tsurugi, that means a blade. Then it's the blade that we have in the back of the hand, we know, and the, the idea is uh, these types of plates, these types of maybe like piercing tools that we could have in several places. For example, we could uh, carry them inside the, uh, inside the hakama or inside the gi or maybe what is the most common in the side we have here. A small, uh, a small space that we could have oh. in the sink and in order to I carry search. and have this kind of this kind of blades. I then, for these small blades, when we are talking about the, the document, the makimono, the show, we could open and take a close look what is written here. Student Kasenoriu Buge Ogawa. Dento, that is the tradition from the Ogawa. We have here Suriken Jutsu. Okay, here we have the two types, two types of uh, Suriken. We have the Bo Suriken, that is this kind, and the Hira Suriken, that is the, the long, the uh, we could say the the plain Suriken, that it's more or less the same length, but more plain. It's plain and have uh, a tip, okay, with two bladed heads here. Yes, this this second uh, type of uh, shuriken, you said, uh, sir, that it has uh, a little blade on the tip. Yes, it's okay. blades in both sides of the tip. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, where you cannot uh, have blade on the sides because you have to deal with it. Hi. Hi. The following step, we are going uh, to explain the basic techniques that it's in, uh, in the Ichiban Keiko here. We have here so many tosa, tosa is from, uh, from uh, releasing, from, from uh, making uh, the, uh, the uh, from firing the suriken, and so many it's from, from uh, in front side. We have uh, Sanren Sokudosa, is to say three ways, because these three ways are linked for what we were explaining before here on the both, uh, on the both types of, of shuriken. Hi. The following, uh, this is each, we have the following here that it's uh, uh, the Migi Tosa, Hi. we have the Hidari, and the following it's a so men in jitosa because this is hidden way. The first way, so men, it's to put in that way the suriken in the hand, you cross, and from here you go up and you release 
in the in the sidal plane in front of you. For me, you throw to the side and release. Hidari to release him at the other side. So many inji, it's when you are hiding the suriken, it's not offering the side forward to the enemy, you are doing in this way and you release by this position. And the last one is sitate uh, inji, that it's coming from downward. From downward, you release in that way. And these are the five basic forms studied, all of them in three ways, because you could employ the Bosuriken, the Hirasuriken, etc. And this is the Ichiban Keiko, the, the main uh, five ways of throwing, the five ways of throw of the Suriken. After this, we pass the Makimono to the following step, that here is Suriken Jutsu no Kata. There are the ways of throwing of the kata. Hi. These we have the same structure. We have the the, the somen tosa, migi tosa, hidari tosa, uh, somen inji, uh, shitate inji, etc. Et but we could do it in both ways. In all of them, we have this that it's sayu. Sayu means hidari, migi. It's to say left and right. Hi. To say First of all, we throw to one side and to the other. How? In Somen. Hi. Is to say, we have to follow the way of throw. The following one is what it's a... Uh, it's a uh, Sengo. Sengo Tosa. That means uh, uh, throwing forward and throwing backward. Two ways of throw. And we have always Shayu, that means Hidari Migi, Left, right, and sen go. That means forward and backward. Sumimasen, Sidosh. Could you explain us, sir? Uh, in this situation, you were you were uh, talking about uh, of throwing on different directions. Uh, uh, how good a samurai on the time could, could bring different uh, bow in, in the way that he would need more than one? Yes. In these cases, explain on the kata. Remember that we have. Sayu, Sengo, it means that you need to do it two throws. Hi. Then, of course, you will only need two Suriken. Maybe one that you have in, one, uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the Katana, and the other maybe you have it on the, on the, on the Hakama. Hmm. But in several ways, maybe you could need for needs of the battle, for not rest restraining to a Kata, you need more Suriken and you have it more. Then the idea is to handle all of them in your in your right in your left hand, and from here you take it, prepare or place correctly, and throw. After throwing, you take the following throw, Hi. throw, etc. Hi. Then in this way we could have uh, several throws, handling several shuriken in your hand. Other way, it's when you have the katana. Maybe you have uh, the katana uh, uh, out of the saya. You don't have it in the obi. In this way, I have here a sinken. I won't take out the saya in order for not generating a situation. And I will handle on my left hand, uh, for example, carrying two or three suriken. I will put in that. Uh, in that way, in that kamae, and from here I will throw. After the throw, I will take the following, throw once again, and you have one more. This uh, was known by the students as kasato. I explained this, this uh, special anthropological reason that it's very, very nice. Uh, Kaza means umbrella and to it's from katana. Hi. Then uh, when we are talking about Kaza to it's because it reminds to the students that the katana is like a like an umbrella that you are uh, you are carrying it in that way, okay, in order to protect to have the kama the kamae to have the god, but at the same time we have uh, the suriken in order to be thrown. Hi. Then 
this was known as Casa Ator. Hi. Okay, and this was known by the by the students. Hi. Uh, other thing that is very important uh, to be explained, it's uh, uh, that Ogawa Sensei explained that Ogawa Sensei was the, the, the master of my master, of the master of Sido Jordan, and the keeper of the legacy on the on the or lineage or for school, Castel Norio, that bring the school to to Brazil, from Japan to Brazil. My master is the one who has uh, explained to me and transformed me, to me uh, the, the lineage. This is why when you are coming here on the Makimono, we have here the hanko, the seals, mm -hmm. that corresponds to the certifying, testifying, that uh, the the makemono is real. That I, it's what is written there is is uh, it's true, mm -hmm. and uh, it covers all the information that they need to have or be to need to be uh, understood, learned by the student when he is formed after two day graduation in this way. In this case, uh, this is a, a very also very very interesting thing because many people think that the makimono is a historical document of course there are makimono that were historical documents but when we are talking about traditional school a makimono is not so, something that you uh, hear by it's something that your master your teacher gives to you when you are graded graduated as a and it covers all the information that you know or need to know when you are at this point. Then uh, take a look. This is not an historical document. This is something that covers, that is written all the information that you need to have. Hi. Okay. Hi. Then uh, returning to Ogawa Sensei, Ogawa Sensei explained that Suriken Jutsu need to be um, need to be employed, used in all circumstances, it's to say. Uh, of course, you could be always prepared, you could be always uh, with the surrogate and throw to the target in, 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 in a technical training or, or so. Hi. But of course, uh, when we are talking about surrogate use, it's a weapon that you could be hidden on the hakama, maybe on the sleeves, on the sode, or on the gi, on this way, or maybe on the saya, and the employment of them is in a risky situation when you need to defend against a surprise attack. Mm -hmm. And for example, if we are here in this situation I am, that I am explaining you what it's written on the makimono mm -hmm. or other circumstances, maybe I am writing or solo or doing whatever, what I need to do here, for example, if I am attacked on the left, mm -hmm. what I have to do is to handle quickly the, the suriken to place properly in my hand mm -hmm. easily and so fast I turn, locate, okay. and I here, I throw, and of course, uh, shot directly in the place I want. Okay? Then, in these cases, I would like to ask, in case we are attacked on the on, on this side, um, uh, where the shuriken uh, thought uh, to kill a person, or, or um, where they decide for another purpose? Because it's difficult, unless one has a real good uh, uh, point, it's difficult to understand. The oh, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a very important question because many people uh, think that shuriken it's for the purpose of killing. Mm -hmm. And of course, this small weapon, it's very rare that, that could kill uh, an attacker. But of course, we'll give you the conditions to generate, generate uh, uncontrolled, uh, that uh, give you conditions maybe to reach your katana, maybe have conditions to prepare, to defend, to look oh. for obstacles, etc. But of course, Suriken, most of the times, we were prepared with doku, that it were poisons, huh? that poisons that were in the tip in order to, uh, when you uh, make uh, a wound, okay, this poison was injected in the veins, and of course, this will cause 
uh, dysfunction in the body, etc. Then this is other study, Doku no Jutsu, that is the study of poisons. Hi. But in this way, Shuriken was not the purpose of Kegelin, as I have explained, because it's impossible that, of course, with a good technique, this could be, uh, this could be, uh, cause uh, serious injuries, but I think and our investigations and our beliefs is that it's very difficult that uh, with the precision that it has uh, you could kill someone, someone because the the capacity of of, of damaging it's uh, it's not it's limited it's I not uh, as strong as the weight the capability that maybe a katana or a yari uh, spear uh, it has I then worry, in this way I think it's not it's not uh, possible, this guy. Hi. Do you have any other question regarding Suriken Jutsu? Yeah, sir. Um, I, I'm, I'm wondering, in this same situation you, you are talking about, we're maybe talking or having tea or, or other situation, we are attacked more closely. Could it be used to peers or in any yeah. close situation? Yeah, this is a very uh, important question too. I mean, for example, Shuriken Jutsu is normally uh, explained as uh, to be thrown, but Shuriken Jutsu is also very employed for, uh, for the purpose of defending in a situation. For example, if we are in a gathering or a social meeting, for example, and I have the Shuriken here, it's hidden on my OB, I know that I have it, but it's a hidden weapon. I understand. Okay. And from here, for example, if you are maybe trying to attack me, whatever the way, if you are grabbing me, for example, of course, I am in a difficult situation, I could take out, or maybe if I have more time, I could place maybe hidden on my hand, that it's the real purpose, and from here, of course, I could pierce, and I could pierce, pierce in the eye, and employing it, going to the, the ground, etc. Piercing again, and of course this could be a very dangerous, a very dangerous uh, weapon in this way because in this, of course, when you have in the hand, you are not throwing the control; it's mm, bigger, and you have uh, the uh, the possibility to reach maybe the arteries, maybe uh, special weak points that it could give you a uh, so precise, and it could be with the purpose of killing this. Uh, this is this is true. Don't worry Okay, then if you want, Hi. what we could maybe explain the first way that it's the Kosomen Tosa, that it's the regular way of throwing, it's very Hi. well known. And uh, you could maybe try uh, and it could be very interesting for you in order to, to develop. Hi. Okay, don't worry about Then let's roll down Makimono. and pass to the story again. This was an explanation in order to understand what are uh, the basic mechanics in order to throw the story again. Then, right now, I want to explain a little about how to throw, and after this, uh, you will try. Okay. Remember, place properly the suit again in your hand, and from here, go up, high first, enter the elbow, going down, and from here, throwing directly between your eyes. High then, please, try. High Several times, please.